The first use of this building was a church, Jesuit church. It was built 1714, 1745, right? In 1745, the Jesuits started to use us as a church for 22 years. But in 1767, the Jesuits were asked to abandon all of the Spanish territories. So they had to go, they left. The place then became a tobacco warehouse. What a change. During 22 years, 1822, 1844, national occupation, this building was a uh, theater. In 1958, it was remodeled and opened as a mausoleum usage with it now. When you enter, you're going to find tools of heroes and illustrious. Who is an illustrious? A writer, a teacher, a poet, etc. All of their tombs, you guys will find them on the floor. In the walls, you see the tombs of those heroes who participated in different wars. The first war we had was against France, 1808-1809. We call them uh, the Reconquest War. The second was against Spain, 1821. The third against Haiti, 1843-44. The fourth against Spain, 1863-65. That one was called Restoration War. And the final against the United States of America. I know you guys don't know this, but the Americans occupy here twice. 1916-1924 and 1965-66. The Dominicans Mostly civilians use the colonial city as a protection. The Americans were on the other side. So there was a war between the two. Countries. You will find inside tombs of these different heroes. At the end of the carpet, you'll find the eternal flame. Eternal means that the ones who are buried in the building, we always remain alive in our mind and soul. Heroes never die. In the back, you guys will see a ceiling, 1958 fresh by the author, Raphael Pacer. On one side, it shows a final judgment, in the other, the assumption. The painter, again, Raphael Pacer, famous Spanish painter of the 50s, okay? You guys will find also several flags. Dominican Republic's flag has three colors. Red, blood of heroes. White peace, blue freedom, okay? So this is the Dominican mausoleum. As yes, we enter this way, and you will see this way. Men wearing hats, same as we did before, we'll remove it. For women, it's okay. Go ahead, I'll see you when you go.